Hello and welcome. So, um, as promised, I'm going to try and uh, see how this turns out and uh, show you my dinner today. Now, I've got my wonderful helper on hand, Spuddy. He's all set and ready to go. Um, I don't think it'd be much help, but yeah. So, um, what I'm planning to do today is do a apple and raspberry crumble for pudding. Uh, which I'm going to just get prepared first of all, and also a, um, a duck breast in uh, hoisin and plum sauce and spring onion rice. Um, so yeah, I think let's get on with it. So uh, first things first, nice sharp knives. Now ironically, these are home geek knives. So very well suited for me. So I'm just going to sharpen these up. My little sharpener here. Now you've got to be careful if you do this at home that uh, you always pull it away from you and don't let go like I nearly did there. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, peel the apples and chop them up and put them in the tub here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use six of the apples, I think. Make it a nice big apple crumble. Um, so yeah, I hope all of our days have been okay. Um, now, what I am also going to do is prepare a little portion here for Mr. Attree, who helps out with the maths department. Um, so he can have some of this as well. I can take it round to him tomorrow. Um, so yeah, good. So what I'll do is I'll peel these and then I'll cut back to it in just a sec. Right, so the apples are chopped um, and I've coated them with a little bit of sugar at the moment. Um, I'm gonna put a bit more of that on in a moment. I just need to do the raspberries and then I'm gonna start actually making the crumble mix itself. So, uh, nice helping of raspberries, and I've got a nice uh, bucket of water here, hot water to wash my hands in, very important to keep washing your hands whilst you're cooking, uh, especially at the moment. So I've got some hot soapy water to keep that all nice and hygienic, so uh, screw it, let's put them all in, we're putting them all in, we're going all in, It'll be a lovely raspberry crumble. Let's give a few more to Mr. Attree there. Excuse fingers, there we go. All right, wash the hands. So, for the crumble mix, we're going to need 140 grams of flour. Okay, so, got my scales here, got my flour, let's use the rest of that one. Bit of a mess already. Now, after we've got the flour, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rub this in with butter. Because that's what, that's what makes this wonderful crumble mix. A bit over there, but that'll be alright. Um, oh, oh god. Um, that's a lot of flour. Um, so, <clears throat> I now need 85 grams of chilled butter. So that's what I've got here. I've got some nice chilled butter. Um, so I'm just going to sort of cube this and add little cubes to it so it makes it a bit easier to rub in. Um, let's reset that to zero. There we go. Thirty-five, forty. Yeah, there. I don't think it really matters if we go a little bit over with this. Oops, a little bit more. A few more cubes. Well, we've gone quite a bit over, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Um, now, I actually need to get some brown sugar apparently, so I'll just grab that out of my cupboard now. Right, 
So what I need to do now is with my flour and butter, I simply just need to rub it together till it's like a fine crumb. And then I can start adding my brown sugar. Now, hopefully this will turn out all right. I've done it a couple of times before, but not too many times. So we shall see. I might need to do some more crumble mix. I don't know, because I've got quite a big dish. So who knows? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Now this is the messy bit. I don't like this bit because it gets all in your fingernails and all of that and all that jazz. So, um, but yeah, it's it's been an uneventful day again, pretty much. Uh, I hope you are all enjoying the content, the videos that I'm putting out daily. Um, I'm quite enjoying making them. Really it keeps me sane in the day, in between um, setting all the work. Um, so yeah. Right, so I think that's nearly a fine crumb now. I don't want to overdo it. Um, and you need to put, this doesn't look like much crumble mix, but oh well. We'll see, it might, it might go further than I think, especially once I've added the sugar. And I can always whip up another batch if needed. Um, I, I haven't forgotten about the meatball sub that I said in my other videos as well, but I just haven't been able to find any ciabatta bread. So i um, currently looking up a recipe to make it or some, some other sort of crusty loaves. Okay, All right, wash the hands quickly, and then we're gonna crack on with the sugar. So, we are going to need that back on the scale. Let's reset. So we're going to need 50, 50 grams of brown sugar. Oops. Yeah, that'll be enough. Yeah, we like it sweet. And then we go back in with the hands and mix that all together a little bit more. That should make it caramelise nicely. Um, I must apologise as well for uh, not being able to see my face, but uh, the only camera angle I could get to get all of the uh, pots and pans in as well was uh, that angle there, so I'm just going to have to uh, make do, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, so, I think our crumble mix is all set. What I am going to do first, though, is I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of caster sugar over my uh, raspberries as well now and make sure that's all good to go. Continue be washing the hands. Um, make it a little bit sweet. That's a big block of caster sugar there. So we need to break up some of those chunks. Clearly I've left it in there and they're way too long. Sugar on there, make it nice and sweet. All right, so I'm just going to sprinkle and layer this crumble mix over the top now. Yeah, actually, that's going further than I thought, so that should be okay. Bubbling nice and sides. Yeah, that's okay. Right, Mr. Atrius now. Right, so crumble mix is finito. Yeah, that's all pretty good. Quite impressed with that, looks alright. Looks all right. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. Spuddy's obviously been pivotal in the uh, making of this. He's been a great help so far. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So I'll put those to one side because I'll deal with those later. I have made a bit of a mess. And that. Right. So. Main course, we're going to need rice. 
So I've got plenty of rice. I think I'm going to be overdoing it on the rice, but you never get enough rice. You never, you're never able to wear enough rice. Now, the trick with the cooking rice is you literally have to fill it just so it's just uh, just over the top of the water, about a couple of centimetres above where the rice is. And then you literally let it boil out. So not much left to it. Now, let's get another chicken board. We've got a duck breast. Now, the duck breast is going to be... Um, well, I'm going to probably have this for two nights. I'm only going to cook one tonight, I think. Don't be too greedy. So let's get one of these out of the packet. There we go. Oops. And I'll store that for later. Now, I have actually made the plum and hoisin sauce earlier on and uh, bottled it up into this little bottle here. So just to make things a little bit easier for myself. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll add that sort of during the cooking, but we're gonna keep it very simple with duck. We're just gonna have a hot pan and we're just gonna pan fry it six minutes on the skin side, four minutes on the underbelly side, and then just sear off the edges. And then I'm, I'm gonna add the sauce in then to heat through the sauce and coat it with the sauce. And then hopefully that should all be done. So I'm just gonna get a few things sorted and then we'll be back. Right, so I'm just gonna chop up the spring onions so they're ready for the rice. Um, I'm gonna just clear a few things away. So those end bits can go. Um, so this is just gonna go in the rice after it's finished boiling and it makes it absolutely delightful. It just elevates the rice. God, I sound like a pretentious idiot. Like I know what I'm actually doing here, I'm just winging it. <laughs> I'm no gourmet chef. Gordon Ramsay? Nah, eat your heart out. Um, so yeah. Oops, so some of it just on the floor. Oops, on my washing machine. So, um, what I will do, because that's going to take 11 minutes for the rice, roughly. So that's all ready to go. I might just add a bit more water to that later on. I'm just going to start heating my pan up, so it needs to be on medium to high heat, so I put it on setting four. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Um, so yeah, this is now pretty much the easy bit. I'm going to do, I'll cook the crumble later, I'm just sort of, after I've had my dinner properly. Um, but yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for those to heat up now. Um, and yeah, I might uh, pour myself a cheeky glass of vino. Uh, yeah, why not? I think I'll, I think I'll probably have one of those tonight. Um, but yeah, right, I'll see you in a bit when the pans have heated up. Right, so I think the pan's hot enough now. Um, one thing I should say, some people like to drain the rice first, uh, sort of get all excess starch off. I don't bother. What's the point? So, in with the duck now, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer so that we can hear the nice sizzle this is probably going to give off. That was a bit of an anticlimax, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so uh, I'm going to set this up for probably six minutes on that side on that heat and it will shrink up a little bit. Um, so Alexa set timer six minutes. Alexa set timer six minutes. Thank you. Jesus. I think she's sick of listening to me talk at the moment because uh, She's the only one that I do have to talk to at the moment. Oh, that and Spuddy, I suppose. So yeah, that will go on for six minutes. So yeah, now it's just a matter of waiting and letting that cook. As the, as the fats are sort of released from that as well, what we'll do is we'll uh, drain those excess fats off. Uh, keeps it nice and uh, crispy then the skin. Uh, so yeah. Right, that's probably gonna need a little bit more water, I think. I think I might have just underdone the amount of water in the rice. So what I'll do, just add that there, I think. And if it 
use any more, it can get it. Right, there's a spoon. I can't do. The last thing I want is all this rice into the bottom of the pan. Oh, Jesus, I've had that before. I can absolutely call them in the nightmare. Ruins the pan, basically. Ruins the pan. Oops. Yeah, that's sliding about. Um, yeah. It's, it's all going pretty well at the moment. No fire alarms going off yet. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if, if you do end up liking these videos, please let me know and I can do more of them. I've got plenty more foods in the house. I can't guarantee I'm going to do a pudding every time. I'll be the size of, a, size of my flat by the time I leave it. Oh, a bit of an update as well on the um, oven situation. Um, the fan is knackered, I've discovered. Um, so what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm just going to take the back off again and uh, see if it's the same fan as what I found because I have found a tutorial and a fan that I could buy to see about replacing it so there could be another one of those videos coming up soon. Um, the annoying thing is this isn't it's not Amazon Prime though so it'll take probably a week or so to get here but I do need one now oh, that's spam so now um, so I'm gonna just start draining off some of this fan. Oops. Do you know what? I don't need to drain the fowl. That's just extra washing up. Yeah, no, I don't want that. That rice is coming on nicely. Might actually just turn that up a little bit, you know. Really properly sear off. The last thing I want to be doing is getting food poisoning at the moment. I'm not kicking the duck properly, which is, I'm not going to lie, it's a, probably a perfectly plausible uh, scenario that's going to come out of this. Um, yeah. So I've, I've had this plum and hoisin sauce before. It's absolutely pain. Um, very good sauce, very good sauce. Highly recommend it. Goes great with a crispy duck and a peaking duck. So yeah. Right, um, I'm going to wait for that to go uh, to properly cook and then I'll come back to you. So yeah, the thing I thought, hoped wouldn't happen was uh, my rice would boil over. And it just did. Literally as I hit pause on the video, it just boiled over. So I've got a bit of a mess to clean up after all this. It's sort of water all over there. So yeah, that'll be a fun one. Okay, so my times have gone completely awry here. The rice looks like it's done. The duck is nowhere near done. So yeah, we're entering a bit of the panic stages here. So what I might do is I might just um, add a bit more water to the rice so it doesn't dry out. And just let that go for a little bit. To be fair, once that's, have, once that's boiled through that cup of water, I probably can keep it going. Uh, the duck... isn't looking too bad on that side. So I'm gonna give it another minute on the skin side and then turn it over. Um, whew, I do feel a bit like Keith Floyd at the moment. Um, got a glass of red in one hand whilst cooking. Um, to be fair, most of my audience here are probably a bit too young to remember Keith Floyd. Great chef, well worth a watch. Uh, one of your top tips. Uh, go to the man, he, he was a good Ale Alexa, stop timer. I, I, don't, I don't know what that timer was for now. Alexa, stop timer. I, 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 there was another timer that was going off there. I've got no idea what's going on at the moment. Um, it's now pandemonium, really. Right, that's, to be fair, that's looking all right, actually. Yeah. I'll leave that for a little bit longer. Five. Right, time to flip the duck. Ooh, that's a nice crispy skin there, which would be nice. So it's actually going to cook. There we're cooking. Right, well, I, th I think we're back on track a little bit here. Alexa, set timer four minutes. So now that's four minutes on that side. Is that set? 
Um, so that's four minutes on that side, and then what will happen is I'll sear the edges, put the sauce, drizzle some of the sauce over the top, and then I think we're ready to go, to be honest. Um, just need to wait for the rice to be done properly. It might be done already, who knows? Um, probably try it. I mean, it, it tastes like rice, pretty bland at the moment. And that's what the spring onion's for. You put that in towards the end, I'll strain it a little bit, I think, at the moment. Try and get rid of some of this before it creates too much of a mess. Don't know if that's now too high. Who knows? Who the hell knows anymore? This could be going well, it could be going horribly. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's. Um, it, 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 it's going though, that's the main thing, it's going. And you know what, this hasn't actually stuck to the bottom yet, which is a good sign. Um, always, always a bonus. Um, well, I don't know if I am going to need to see inside that, but apparently if you squeeze it, it should be firm but spongy to the touch. That's how you know duck's done, apparently, because you should have it slightly pink in the middle. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed this will turn out okay. Yeah, how's that looking? Okay, I mean, that's quite a lot of rice for one person. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's quite a lot. Um, I've definitely done too much rice there. Um, I started out with such confidence with this. The crumble went so well. And now it's all gone to sort of... I've just lost my, my mojo, my momentum, my, my momentum, really. Yeah. Hmm. How's that been? That, that's still very, very stunning. I don't think that's cooked in the middle at all. But we are definitely charring the bottom. Let's just brown off the edges. So, see the edges. Yeah, I don't want to burn it. That's the thing. Oh, it could be on. It could be on that same. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fighting back, fighting back. And um, right, uh, this is where my rice starts to go properly wrong. Oh, my hands are busy. I think that might now be sticking to the pan. Oh god! Right, let's clear the end as well. Yo, know I don't know if I've used the right pan for this at all. This is quite a. I don't really like this pan. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to leave that going still for a moment. Also, just check on the rice. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that's started to stick to the bottom now. So I'm going to say that's done. Ooh, Alexa, stop timer. I've, again, I've lost track of what my timers are for now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my spring onion into the rice. All of the spring onions. I'm just going to stir them through it. Just adds a bit more flavour to the rice. I mean, this would probably be called a travesty by some people, but I think it makes one job. Ow! Oh. Ow! Ah! That's hot. Ow! <laughs> Right, one of my gloves has just fallen off, that's good. Other mitts. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to leave that steaming. Let's turn down. Yeah, I think I've ever done that right. My 
that might have opened that. And I think my duck is now burning. No, 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 that's okay. Okay. Good. We're all good. We're good still. We're good. But that's still definitely a bit longer. I'll move that to there. Hmm. This is definitely very, very spongy duck still. Um, let me wash up this knife quickly and then I'll cut into it and see how it's looking on the inside. Uh. Right. Oh, that might actually be done. is I'm going to add some of this hoisting plum sauce to the pan and just sort of drizzle it over a little bit now this might ruin it, I've never done it this way before No, it's a moment of time. We're going to rub the duck around in there. Whew. Who knows what this is going to turn out like? Who the hell knows? It does smell quite nice though. So. Um, sizzling off nicely. I don't want it to burn though. Let's think about the sauce to burn or the duck to burn. Actually, that's feeling pretty good. I think we might be ready to plate up. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat off. Sizzle away a little bit. Uh, get there. Bong ready. There, there. So this should just steam some of those spring onions a little bit. Filling them with the rice and putting the lid back on. That is a lot of rice. I mean, that's a meal in its own right. I think that will work on. Sweet Jesus, that is so much rice. So sticky. Okay, the rice hasn't come out well. The rice has not done well here. Um, I really hope this is cooked. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Presentation's not everything. That slipped out the tongs there. Um, Let's get this pan in there. Um, let's just pop up the side of that bowl. And voila! A duck breast with spring onion rice. Let's give it a try. Fork. Now what guys? It's cooked all the way through. Ooh. Ooh. Well that is the shiz. 
That is so good. So good. I'm going to enjoy this in peace. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's daily vlog. See you on the other side. Bye!